Hello, just a quick video about a cool one pound coin I found. Um, these both look pretty similar. Let, let's take a look at this one first because this one's normal as it were. So it is a 2016 one pound coin. It's got a security feature on the bottom here where you can see the number one if you hold it at the right angle. Um, the other security feature, of course, is that it's a bimetallic coin. So this outer bronzy coloured piece of metal and the silver metal in the middle are different pieces. When the coin is struck, the inner blank is just left loose inside the outer blank. And then when the coin is struck, the dies come down and squeeze together quite hard at high pressure. A uh, collar is in place around the outside to keep everything in place. And that's what helps put the alternating milled and smooth edges on these new pound coins. Um, and then, as well as imparting the design on the coin, that striking process helps fuse the inner and outer parts. So you can't really push that bit out the middle, certainly not by hand anyway. So this other coin is interesting because it looks fairly similar. It's also a 2016 one pound coin. It's got the same um, security feature there. Um, there you go, just about to see the one. Um, however, what's interesting about this one is if you look just above the security feature, the distance between it and the inner blank here is much smaller than the distance on this end of it. And indeed, if you look to this side, you'll see the inner part is much closer to this lettering on that side than it is to the lettering on this side. If you tilt it slightly, you can even see there's a bit of a gap here. Um, so what's caused that then? Well, simply, as this coin was struck, the collar gave way slightly. So you can see the metal has kind of flowed out underneath the collar as it was struck. So when the coin is struck, there's such high pressures involved that it does get pretty warm and it starts to behave slightly liquid-like, which is why you get this kind of gloopy, leaking out effect. And this is really cool because this is demonstrative of some kind of minting process error. This is not something that has happened after the minting process. You can't tamper with a pound coin and make it look like that any other way. So that's a pretty cool find. If you find one of these, don't throw it away or spend it because people collect these kind of things and it's probably worth about 40 quid.